Welcome to the finale of River City Girls 2. Sabago has betrayed us, of course. Now it's time we teach her, Ken, and the rest of the Yakuza a lesson. This is it, the final battle. You ready for this? Not really. I'm tired and my feet hurt. You? About the same. Let's go save the day so we can veg out on video games. Sounds like a plan. Looks like Sabako's already torn this place apart. Good for her! Don't kill him, Sabako! Yeah, uh, listen to them, sis. I'm not going to kill you, little brother. Oh, thank God. Our family takes care of one another, even if we are not bound by blood. I, uh, I won't ever forget this, Sabako. Sorry to break up this cute family reunion, but no one's going anywhere. Yeah, we beat you both up before, and we can do it again. I feel confident that I could best you both in battle with minimal effort. However, why risk it? Your impulsivity was the perfect catalyst for my plan. Thank you, teenagers! Zabu family rule! Don't let them get away! Oh boy, I can see where this is going. We're gonna fight in a damn helicopter. Oh, hey, Hell yeah, it. helicopters. Oh, oh wait, it's Crash. Good to see him again. Self-care is super important, dude. Drop by often. Hurry, get us out of here before those wretched teenagers get the best of us again. Do what the lady says. Hurry up. We can't let them get away. Attack the helicopter. Easier said than done. Oh, I I thought we were fighting in the helicopter, not fighting the helicopter itself. Man, what a ripoff! Well, this boss fight sucks, not only because the heli is airborne 90% of the time, or all of the time for that matter, you have to use grenades in order to damage it. And you have to be dead on with these grenades, you can't just throw and forget. The helicopter does have a smaller hitbox than it lets on. You also gotta be careful not to hold the grenades for too long, as they'll eventually explode in your face. Here, here, I'm thinking, isn't there a way in real life to hold a grenade without it blowing up on you? I guess not. So the boss fight does take a shit ton of time, only because you can't hit this thing with your fists. You have to rely on the grenades, and this thing has a lot of health. And the only way you can get grenades is from the Rogers guys, the, um, Pompadour dudes, as I like to call them. So I fast forward here because I don't want to bore you. Ow. Now the heli will shoot rockets at you, and I think they're homing rockets too, so you have to be careful. So the boss fight, I just blew myself up. What the fuck? <laughs> the boss fight is tedious. And there goes that. Let's head inside and end this. Why is Ken hanging off of the heli's railing? Just get in the chopper, man! You're not Rufus from Final Fantasy VII, you can't just hang off shit. But with them out of the way, we can now access the final area. Come on back anytime you're feeling run down, huh? I'll get you pumped up! Yakuza. Lots more. Do you think we need to defeat them all before we can reach Sabu? Only one way to find out. Welcome to the Sunwukai Tower. Another returning stage from the first game. And this area, I think, has seen the most change from the first game. Some areas of this tower are the same, while others are drastically different. This room is a complete dead end, let's move on. And apparently there is a random lightsaber on the table, nice. <laughs> but um, the Sam Wukai Tower, it is the most complex area in the game. You have a lot of rooms that are either dead ends or rooms that lead to other rooms that are off the beating path. This would definitely be a confusing place to navigate if weren't for a map feature in this game.
Good to see the casino make a comeback. Let's play some poker. On second thought, let's not play poker. I'm extremely bad at poker. I'm absolutely terrible. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Poker is definitely not my thing. Oh, look, we just destroyed the poker table. <laughs> the only poker I like is five card draw because it's so simple. <laughs> like all those other poker types, I cannot just get the hang of. Just give me five card draw and I'll be good. Interrogation room, oh shit. Now we're getting into some nonsense. We need to pass through this area in order to get to the elevators. Or the room with the elevators. And from there, you'll take the elevator down. Ah yes, we're actually going to the basement for once. There are some beat-em-ups where you take the elevator down. And this game already took the elevator up once, so we have to do something different. Here we are, it's floor eight. Wait, we were on the eighth floor this whole time? What the hell? <laughs> but if we go to the left here, there's gonna be the Yakuza training room. There's gonna be a random tarot card here for one of the side activities. This is just a dead end room. I guess that one training dummy has health and the other ones don't because I was not destroying that particular model. going down this time. Well, that's new. I thought this would end in the penthouse again. Guess not. Uh, no. Why would you think it would be in the penthouse again? It's the sequel. We have to do everything better and badder. Now, if you get all of Marion's special attacks, have fun. <laughs> A lot of her specials will do major damage. There's one move in particular, her giant swing of death, or as I like to call it, the Cesaro swing, based off of Antonio Cesaro, the wrestler. Or at least that was his M-Ring name before he went to ROH, I think. He's not even in WWE anymore. And honestly, they wasted Cesaro in WWE. He deserved way more. If I were to make a WWE video, which I have to be careful about because copyright issues, Cesaro would be the head of the topic, because I love freaking Cesaro. <laughs> Is he my favorite wrestler? No, probably not even in the top 10 of wrestlers on my list, but he's close. He is definitely a spectacle to watch. Anyway, we're on our way down to the final boss, the true final boss of this game. It's Sabu, who's coincidentally named after another wrestler. What is going on here? <laughs> This game must love sports entertainment, am I right? Well, this is definitely very underground. Which way do we go now? Whichever way you like, it doesn't really matter. Welcome to my empire. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, we kicked that backstabbing daughter of yours out the window. Huh. I heard. And now, we're gonna do the same to you! But not out the window this time, since we're underground. Oh yeah. You've met my two children, but I'd like to introduce you to the rest of my family now. These are my new Yakuza soldiers. Stronger, faster, modified to kill anything I tell them without question or hesitation. Ladies, gentlemen, get rid of these two nuisances. We need to find a way 
out of here. Don't bother fighting it. These modified Yarkos now learn with each punch you throw. Eventually, you'll fall to death. I wish you'd eventually shut up! And here's Sabu, who is very, very different from his appearance in River City Zero. For one thing, he doesn't have a gun. Another thing, he looks straight out of Dragon Ball Z. The dude is jacked. He, he honestly doesn't even need a gun. Oh, these robots look nasty. I want to steer clear of these guys. I'm just going to keep doing my running punch and hopefully not have these guys blow up on me. Well, that kind of worked. That explosion did no damage. Huge bolted metal door. Ten bucks says Sabu's behind there. I don't have ten bucks. How about a friendly bet? Sure. You'll never get inside here, though so you're welcome to try. Hey, check out those three wires. I wonder where they went. Damn it, Ken! I thought you said you finished the security doors! Ugh. Leave it to Ken to be an idiot. <laughs> so, in order to get through the door, we have to destroy these three cores. And the cores themselves are a bit iffy to get to. It's kind of like that one level from Streets of Rage 3. I believe it was stage 5 or 6? I don't know. You have to rescue the president from the gas chamber. Yes, that did happen. <laughs> Wire let us in here. What now? That machine looks pretty expensive. Don't touch it! That is critical machinery! And you have these out-of-the-way rooms where you have to either deal with machinery or traps. Or traps with machinery and people to fight. This part is much akin to that stage from Streets of Rage 3, only except more or less insane depending on what version of that game you played. American Streets of Rage 3 was f fucking impossible. <laughs> But here's the um, fire core, the flame core, I don't, I don't know what this is, it just shoots fireballs. And you gotta hit the reactor in the glowing red ball. That's how you do damage. Only, only problem is, it takes a lot of damage. And Yakuza will just keep coming out of the woodwork. And they won't surrender. And they don't seem to have names, or at least their names don't appear on screen whenever you knock them out. Ah, uh, come on. This could be its own boss! And I gotta deal with three of these things. Oh god, this is Streets of Rage 3, holy crap. I always thought Streets of Rage was the weird game of the bunch. Even when 4 came out, it was still like, uh, Streets of Rage 3 is the odd one out. You got human brains and jars and terminators and shit in that game. Even as a kid, I found that really strange for Streets of Rage. Oh, at least there's Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 4. Which are not as ball busting and definitely not as strange. Okay, Streets of Rage 4 does have the giant robot at the end, but that's it. There ain't no human brains in jars or terminators or crap like that. Anyway, back to this part, which is still going on. I may may have to shorten the other cores, because this is ridiculous. Holy crap! Good thing the fire can actually hit the other characters too, because this would be absolutely insane. Are you serious? You're on no hits left. What is this? That's one machine down. I bet if we destroy all three, we can open that huge door. 
Ugh, yes you can. Which I'm going to do right now. Let's fast forward a bit. Here's the core on the right side of the room, or reactor, and this one is electricity based. Dude, it's seriously on no hits again. Another machine bites the dust. I love breaking things. It won't mean anything. You're too late. Doctor, begin the process. But sir, it's still not. I gave an order. Now do it. <sighs> yes, sir. That doesn't sound good. What is what is Sabu up to? What are you doing? Alright, last reactor, and I think this one is... It's gotta be ice base if the other ones are electricity and fire. I'm just going off of Mega Man Zero logic, or elemental logic, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Oh no, it's purple. What? So it's toxic? This reactor is easier since it seems to take more damage, or maybe I'm having an easier time hitting the damn thing. Let's run. Let's go see if that big door is open now. Come on in. <laughs> I'm ready for you. What? 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 Goddamn Cesaro swing! You gotta love it. <laughs> Just cut down that thing's health in no time. I never thought it would come to this, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to defend my family and my empire, even if it means... Who's the glowing dude? And why is he super ripped? I think it's Sabu, but like, jacked up on coffee or magic or something. Your words have no effect on me. With this serum in my veins, my strength has been magnified to such a magnitude that... Maybe he's using the dark arts like Yamada? Hey, yeah, maybe. Unless it's just some old person thing. He is pretty old. Old people glow with magic? Excuse me. I'm trying to tell you about my master plan. It's very impressive. If you just listen for two minutes. Might be special effects, like in the movies. Oh yeah, I saw a movie once. All kinds of stuff glowed in it. Oh fine. Whatever. Let's just get this over with. I am unstoppable! There he is, Sabu, the Yakuza... <laughs> okay, what was that? I knocked him into the air and he was still in runner's pose. <laughs> Okay, I, I have nothing to say about that. Sabu, he's the final boss of this game. He's definitely the most difficult one by far. He's got a fair few different attacks that you need to watch out for, mainly his ground pound which leads into his key blast. Whenever he does the key blast, you want to hide behind one of these three pillars. And after he does that, he'll be tired for a bit. That's your chance to strike. Oh god, he's taking the steroids. Not the steroids! Now here's his second form. He's got massive lasers of doom behind him, and you want to watch out for those lasers. They seem to shoot in a pattern, but whenever you're trying to shoot Sa shoot Sabu in the face, I wish, whenever you're trying to hit Sabu in the face, then you can't really keep up with the lasers. Oh boy, it's the key blast again. Better hide behind this red pillar. Shit. If it's the color red, then it's most likely not good. And here's another Sabu special. He's got a Shadow Clone. 
The clone does go away after hitting him with a combo or two, so just keep at it. Ow, ow, what the, ah! Okay, that was bad. Okay, do the running man thing, do your, what? I didn't even hit him with the elbow? That's bullshit. Come on, Sabu, you jerk. Okay, I gotta hide behind the pillars this time. I still did not even get behind the pillars, are you serious? This fight is rigged, it's bogus, it's cheap. It's a good thing I have all my snacks with me. I wonder if they actually allow that in the nightmare difficulty. I have to try that out. What? That was a discernible gap between his fist and my face. I call shenanigans Skywalker on that. That was a cool attack. But that's not going to help you, Sabu. Not at all. Okay, maybe a little bit. Oh, great, now there's two red pillars. Maybe I can hide behind them. No, I can't hide behind, oh. Why are you a Dragon Ball villain all of a sudden? What happened to you just having a gun? I'm just trying to survive here. This is insane. All right, what are you gonna do now? Oh, he's gonna do the key blast again, why? That is definitely one of his more dangerous moves. Okay, hit him now. Keep hitting him, Marianne. You're good. Yes, yes, keep doing that. Look, now you have a gun? You have a gun now? The good thing is it probably barely does any damage no in this game. Oh, what in the fresh fuck is this? A fourth form? A fourth form. Indeed. He, yeah, he's made the evolution. He is indeed a Dragon Ball villain now. Oh my god. Okay, can I actually get behind something? Oh, I made it! Anyway, the fourth phase is pretty much the same as any other phase. He'll keep attacking you with his key blasts and his pillars and his ground pound and stuff, and he's also got the Shadow Clone. I just gotta keep relying on my Superman punch. Come on, Marion. You're the only one left. Well, actually, we got five other characters, but you're the only one that can do this. Come on. Oh, yeah! What? How? No! No. This is impossible. I am unstoppable. Well, clearly that's not true. At least that serum seems to be wearing off. Yeah, you look a lot less glowy now, Sabu. This is just the beginning. I will make it my life's mission to destroy you, your friends, and everyone you've ever loved. I know where you live. I know where your mother lives. Even I don't know where my mother lives. Let's get this over with. Quiet! You will show the great Sabu and his family some respect before you die! Uh, Sabu is blasting off again? That was River City Girls too. A pretty fun beat-em-up. I think in some ways it's better than the first game, but it's also like the first game too. <laughs> and what I mean by that is the formula is still the same, just highly improved. You got new environmental damage and hazards, you got new enemy types. The only thing that's disappointing are the weapon types are literally the same as the first game. The plot, well, who cares about the plot of a beat-em-up? Even the characters themselves don't care about the plot of this game. The music is hit or miss. Everything without vocals is great. The songs with vocals or vocal tracks, they're all right. Maybe on the bad side, but some of those are purposefully bad. Voice acting is good though. But if I were to put this game on my beat em up renaissance list, starting from like Streets of Rage 2, Fight and Rage, 
Jitsu Squad, TMNT. Honestly, I would put this closer to the bottom, maybe mid-tier. And I'm not saying this is a bad game, it's not. But if we're looking at Streets of Rage 4 and TMNT Shredder's Revenge, those games blow this one out of the water for sure. And those were my thoughts on River City Girls 2, fantastic game. Play this with friends. No, seriously, play this with friends, you'll have a riot. <laughs> anyway, my name is Don, this has been River City Girls 2, and enjoy this sappy music. You know, I shouldn't have treated you so bad, Sabako. I'm sorry about that. No. I'm the one who is sorry, little brother. I should have been the mature one. No, no, it was all me. I started this whole stupid feud between us. I told Dad when you got beat up. It takes a strong man to admit when he's made a mistake. Now as soon as Dad is done with those kids, we can get a new start as one big happy crime family. Where is father? I wouldn't have expected his battle to last this long. Well, that was an adventure. Yep. I think we all learned something, though. About friends and family and standing up for what you... Jeez, enough yapping! Are you gonna take your turn or not? Right, sorry. Oh, get him! Punch that vampire! BP2 is so much better than the first game. Doorbell. I'll get it. Huh? What are you two doing here? Did you really think we'd miss this adventure? Yeah, get up, losers. It's time for a rematch. But we already finished. Yeah, Sabu's beaten up, his empire's in ruins. The end. You idiot! I told you we should have come straight here! It was your idea to stop for smoothies on the way, Hasabe! You know I get low blood sugar, Mommy! Huh, looks like we beat the game. So what now? You wanna play through again? <laughs> You're on!